Hello there. So, um, you might be wondering why I have my head covered in curlers. Well, it's request time. Um, this one came in from Rita. It's a prom hairstyle, and she really liked to know how to do it. Um, I've been putting it off for a while, mostly because it requires hair product and hot rollers. And I figured, you know, my husband would take me out sometime on a hot date. I could do my hair all fancy, but it just ain't happening. And my poor little Rita is getting impatient. So I'm going to the grocery store today with a prom hairstyle because, well, I'm like that. Any hoodle, I figured I'd let you see my hair in curlers because uh, it's not a sight you see for me every day. It happens approximately one time a year. So there you go. Don't you feel special? Alrighty, I will be back after I take all these down and we will get started with that hair. Alrighty, so. we're back. And as you can see, I don't set my hair real often because it's so heavy, it don't really hold. But what I really needed was the curls on the end. So that's what we're doing with. Your hair shorter than mine, it'll probably hold curl a heck of a lot better than this. But mine doesn't. So there you go. So what we're gonna do, this is just, this is actually a pretty basic updo. It just requires some time and a lot of bobby pins. Alrighty, okay. So let's get that out of the way. Don't brush out your curls, leave them there. Um, we're gonna start on this side. Right about here. Mm, Okie doke. Separate that out gently. So you leave a little bit of curl. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to twist it. Separate into two, like so, and twist upwards. Just a little bit up here at the top. Your second piece, you're going to twist upwards as well. Then we're going to twist them around each other, like so, kind of like a tiny mini rope braid. But you only need a couple little twists, like that, and then we're going to pin them. And you're going to use two bobby pins in an X pattern. Try to find bobby pins that are as close to your hair color as you can get. It'll be helpful. All right, so we're going to twist. Put one in and kind of go in that direction, and the next one we're going to put in and go in that direction so they form an X over each other. That's the key to getting, uh, sometimes getting bobby pins to work correctly. There you go. Can you see that? Little X pattern? Alrighty. So now we take another section of hair. Right here, like so. And we're going to... My cowlick tends to be right there, so I always have to be careful on this part. <laughs> We're going to separate it and twist it as well. Twisting first to the left, both pieces, see if you can see, this one requires a mirror, and then in the opposite direction, which would be to the white and around each other. Just two or three times. And then we're gonna pin once again in the X pattern. That one doesn't wanna play with me. That one fell on the floor. Okay, here we go, X pattern. Okay, so that's two. I'm going to go ahead and I'll probably do another one here and then a little one on this side and a little one on this side and then uh, I'll be back. So here's your transition. Hi. Um, so as you can see, we've done uh, the crown for the most part. It's our pretty little twists and whatnot in the front. So all the rest of it is fairly easy. Um, be a lot easier if your hair is shorter than mine. <laughs> Mine's going to be a little time consuming and um, a wee bit, uh, oh, it's going to take a lot of bobby pins. 
So hopefully your curls have not deflated as much as mine because what you're going to do is wrap that curl right back up into the curl around your finger like so. Uh, like so, yeah. And then you're going to pull it off your finger and pin it. That's it. Just pin these curls. You want to try and hide your pins as best as you can. Um, and they are going to like pop up a little bit, but that's kind of the look we're going for. Um, so this is why we did not comb our curls out because hopefully they will still have some definition and it'll be super easy for you just to wind them back up. Um, this probably would have been easier to do if I just slept on uh, soft rollers. But since I knew it was going to require hairspray and stuff, and uh, I didn't want to have to wash my hair too quickly in two days. So we'll just do it this way. So there's our curl. And we'll pin our curl. You just kind of pin them willy-nilly. Always, uh, uh, they're sticking up funny. You can always cover it up later, but always kind of to the back. Um, and if you can, kind of bring them up to cover up your uh, pins from your twists. So I'm going to continue uh, twisting up my curls that I have, my sad, sad little curls that I have left. And uh, when we get towards the end, I'll be back so this video doesn't take, you know, forever. Alrighty, see you in a few. Alrighty, ladies, I'm back. I ran out of bobby pins, so I ended up having to use the clippies. But if you can see from the front, with the very small curls, um, you can see how pretty this would be, slightly from the side. The simple fact is I have way too much hair for this hairstyle. This is a hairstyle that you really have to have, you know, about bra strap length for. You know, you could probably get away with shoulder length with no problems. But I would say if you are longer than bra strap length, it's probably not going to work for you. My hair is so heavy, it is ripping the pins out as we speak. Um, and as you can see, I mean, I've got clips in it just to hold it up. Um, by all means, you can do the front as a really cute headband. But uh, as far as the full on updo, I have two others that are very similar that do not require any heat or any styling products. And you can actually do it on my length hair. Um, what you wanna do is go to my page and look for the super fancy updo. It's a two-parter because it's complicated. Not really, little complicated, but it will work on very long hair. It'll also work on bra strap length hair and anything in between. Um, or I have another one on there. I think it just says another updo. Um, and it's like uh, bridesmaid hair, prom hair, a lot simpler because it gets rid of most of this so that you only have a little bit left to do your curls with. So um, anyways, it is really pretty if you have short enough hair. My hair is simply too long and too heavy for this particular do, but hopefully you got the basics. So if your hair is shorter than mine or thinner than mine, you can figure out how it works. Um, in the future, if you have any hair requests, please take into account that I have three feet of hair. And sometimes you see these really cute little jazzy updos. I just have way too much hair for them. For example, the French twist. I can't French twist. Way too much hair to French twist. I apologize for that, but I just can't do it. I used to. When it was less than waist length, I could do it, but I'm beyond that now. So anyway, um, I hope you liked that, Rita. I hope you at least got the beginnings of it and can figure the rest out yourself. And uh, for my extremely long-haired ladies, well, you see, I am not infallible. Sometimes there's just stuff that I can't do, even when I know how to do it. Too much hair. Alrighty, I will see you next time. Until then, have a great day. You know what? I will be darned if I let a hairstyle beat me. There is no such thing as hair that is too long. So I fixed it, kinda. So what I did was I took all those pins out and I got all my hair back down and then I wrapped it in a bun and left just, you know, the ends and then pinned them around the bun. <laughs> 
I think that works a little better. At least it's up and secure and didn't take 90 bobby pins, people. 90. That's what I used the first time, and it wasn't holding this. Probably only about half. Um, but as you can see, it looks a lot better. You can even kind of sort of see I left it out so you could. The bun is actually under here. Straight up cinnamon bun. And then I just clipped it off and then started making my curls all around to hide it. So there you go. It can be done with long hair. It doesn't look exactly like the original now, however. But it's pretty and that's what counts, right? Okay, so there you go. Adapt and overcome. I think that's what the Marines do. Yeah, so uh, hoorah. Long hair girls unite.